So I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Hideki Miyachi from Nippon Medical School in Tokyo, Japan, um, who's going to be presenting his article on Imatinib attenuates neo-tissue formation during vascular remodeling in an arterial bioresorbable vascular graft. Dr. Miyachi. Uh, th thank you very much for the introduction and uh, for reviewing and publishing our manuscript and are also allowing us the privilege to highlight our work in this webinar. Uh, our topic is uh, bioresorbable vascular graft. We have already uh, succeeded the first clinical application of BBG for patients with congenital heart disease. The BBG was composed of a PGA and a PLCA uh, meshed copolymer, and the bone marrow derived mononuclear cells were seeded on polymer scaffold. Uh, the BBG was implanted between a uh, primary artery and uh, uh, inferior vena cable at frontline operation. However, BBGs have not yet been clinically applied to the arterial saturation. According to previous studies, uh, the mechanism of uh, bacterial modeling is known as follows. At first, um, macrophages and uh, monocytes infiltrate into the BBG, and the macrophages are reduced, uh, release uh, multiple cytokines and uh, growth factors, uh, which recruit smooth muscle cells and endothelial cells to the scaffold. Those cells are organized into a mature vessel structure. As the scaffold degrades, uh, monocytes migrate away, leaving behind a completely autologous neo vessels. And uh, platelet derived growth factor, PDGF, also plays an important role in vascular modeling. Uh, PDGF promotes uh, SM smooth muscle cell migration and proliferation and activates uh, of the MMPs and uh, fibroblasts. And uh, imatinib uh, is known as a PDG, PDGF receptor inhibitor and a CKIT uh, receptor kinase inhibitor. And clinically, imatinib is effective in treating uh, gastrointestinal uh, stromal tumors, cyst, and chronic uh, myelogenous uh, leukemia, CML. Uh, in the mouse model, uh, imatinib has the ability to inhibit SMC proliferation. Uh, in the stenosis uh, after repeated vascular injury. And the shikit positive progen progenitor cells uh, can differentiate into alpha action positive uh, vascular smooth muscle cells. Uh, therefore, our hypothesis is that imaginative should attenuate nerve tissue formation by, uh, SMC, by inhibiting SMC radio formation during BVG remodeling. Uh, here is a study protocol. Uh, a total of 40 mice were administered intraperitoneally uh, imaginib or serine for two weeks after BBG implantation. Uh, those mice were scheduled to be sacrificed at uh, three weeks and eight weeks in both groups. These pictures show the macroscopic findings. BBG was implanted to ERA and uh, in, uh, in a in the diameter of BBG is uh, about 0.6 millimeter and the length is about three meter. Results. This shows histological finding of expanded BBGs at three weeks. Uh, you, as you can see, there's no, there are almost no new tissue formation on luminal side of BBG in both groups. And we uh, had uh, there are some cells in the scaffold, uh, which is a macrophage, uh, as shown here. And next, uh, at eight weeks after BBG implantation, as shown in the left panel, uh, control group shows a thicker near tissue, tissue formation than imaginative group, as shown in the right panel. And the, the thickness of SMH layer and the collagen fibers uh, in BBG are were measured using image from uh, microscopic images. The thickness uh, of SMC layer and the collagen fiber area in the imaginative group is well, signif significantly smaller than in the control group. And the thickness of uh, and the percent area uh, of neo tissue formation were manually measured and uh, significantly smaller in the imaginative group than in the control group. However, the inner diameter was not different in both groups in the histology and ultrasound measurement. 
So as a, in the diameter, it was similar, and the thickness of uh, nail tissue formation was different. So our BVH model shows that nail tissue advanced circumferentially towards the outer portion of the nail tissue, nail vessel. In summary, in our BVG model, the majority of cells are migrated into BVG or inflammatory cells, uh, such as a M1 macrophage, at three weeks in both groups. However, nail tissue formations uh, on the luminal side of BVG was observed in both groups at eight weeks. SMHC layers was uh, thinner in the imaging groups and than in the control group at eight weeks. Uh, the percent area of collagen fiber in BVG were uh, significantly uh, smaller uh, in the imaging group uh, than in the control group. The thickness and the percent area of nail tissue formation was significantly smaller in the intermediate groups than in the control group. We propose uh, this uh, BBG modeling as shown here. Uh, in our BBG model, uh, SMC proliferates uh, and migrates uh, circumferentially towards the outside, uh, outside of BBG. But of course, the direction of nail tissue formation may change uh, depending on the materials and the manufacturing method of BVG. Our goal is to uh, clinically apply BVG to the uh, arterial by circulation. Thus, uh, arterial BVG uh, must have, uh, must achieve the optimal de uh, degradation, uh, uh, optimal balance between polymer degradation and vascular modeling within a high pressure system uh, as a arterial pressure. The result, the result of this study can be helpful for the opti optimal, optimal design of uh, arterial BVG. In conclusion, uh, imagine attenuated nail tissue formation by inhibiting SMC layer formation and ECM deposition into arterial, arterial BVGs. Lastly, I would like to uh, thank Dr. Sinoka and Dr. Brewer for my support. And uh, Angela is uh, uh, first in human uh, implanted venous BVG uh, in United States, and she is uh, now growing up uh, very, very well. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you very much. So again, um, if people can post their questions to the chat, uh, I'm going to lead off with uh, a question, Dr. Miyachi. So intimal repair and intimal hyperplasia has been shown to involve uh, several different mitogens other than PDGF, and there's a lot of redundancy when it comes to these mitogens and smooth muscle cell proliferation. In your model, do you think that the intimal repair is really completely dependent on PDGF, or do you think that the imantinib may also affect signaling from other mitogens and receptors? Okay, thank you very much for your questions. As you know, there are many factors involved in vascular modeling. In this study, we focus on PDGF. But uh, TGF beta, BEGF, and MMP9, and also are all well known as mitogens. Uh, in this study, MMP9 attended to NLTH formation, but NLTH formation was also observed in the MMP3 group, uh, suggesting that the other factors would have influenced NLTH formation. Uh, MMP9 also functions as a CK receptor uh, kinase inhibitor and was involved in SMC proliferation. So as I, it much may affect cheeky receptor, but uh, further research is uh, will required. Thank you very much. So another question is that conceptually, you would assume that you really want to recruit smooth muscle cells to recreate your arterial wall within the tissue engineered graph so that it would um, basically replace the, the polymer that was originally used. Um, so what made you decide to study imantinib in the early phase and in the center graft, um, rather than maybe the edge of the grafts where restenosis is usually more of a problem. Okay, thank you very much for your important question. Uh, I agree the recruitment of SMC is very important and, and uh, essential uh, uh, in early phase of vascular remodeling. Uh, but in contrast, uh, I believe the stenosis of arterial BVG could be a problem in the future clinical applications, similar to the stenosis of uh, metal stent in coronary arteries. Uh, Sasa agrees that that's very important, uh, very necessary, it's necessary to observe it for a long time period. But uh, uh, our BVG was a protocol for mice, and uh, 
uh, the VVG was composed of uh, electro spinning fibers with small porosity to withstand the arterial pressure and maintain the structures. So we found that small porosity, in, uh, small porosity of scaffold uh, inhibited the cell infiltration and migration, and the neo tissue formation was delayed. Therefore, we uh, just that it's not appropriate for up for a long time period. Uh, so, but however, uh, this study shows that you might be continuing to neofish formation. So I think it was meaningful. And, uh, and the reason why the, we observe the central part of the graft instead of edge is because in previous study of venous graft, stenosis occurs in the central part of graft, not in the edge. The another reason is uh, edge may cause uh, the technical, oh, technical problem during microsurgery with my modified recording. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Miyashi.